All right. What do I have left to do? The Weeping Willow. Okay. I think that's somewhere in the forest. Pessy's thing is back in the thing, and of course, Basil. Okay. Then, I guess all I have to do is... Yeah, I know. I guess all I have to do is head back to the forest, water the flowers, and then make my way back towards the end of the day. Take care of the rest of the stuff there. I'm sure I have plenty to water in at this point, but we'll see. I did pretty much do the entire day since I've been back there, so... I can also go to the Orange Oasis. For now, I'll head to the Vast Forest and Water, and then I'll head to the Orange Oasis. Alright right, guys, welcome back to Let's Play Amori. We are ready to water, and ooh, they need watering. <laughs> it has been a while since we've been back. Amori gained one heart. Oh. One heart. Amori gained one heart. I figured that these had a direct correlation thing. And I think these were supposed to be the uh, personification of Mary. So that's odd. Oh well. Amori gained one heart. And another heart. I'm gonna be the healthiest boy. And one more heart. Nice. Nothing else, I'm just getting a lot more health. Yeah, I just gained like 13 hearts. Hey, a hero. You, gain, you gonna get any hearts from this, or no? Nope. I think this one was Aubrey. Guess I'm not gonna be able to find out. And then there's Cal down here. I mean, they are cactuses, to be fair. I can try to water them. Flower? I figure I'd be able to tell, but they are cactuses. They are kind of hard to tell without checking them. All right, I don't know. Amori gained one heart. And another heart. I think that's 15 hearts in a single day. Yeah. Amori's heart to total is really high at this point. Nice. Our heart is finally healing between the power of Amori, Basil, and Mary. All right, I guess let's write this. Or actually, I probably should go up and check the bunny thing. I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna say no.
Okay, let's go check to see if there were any more rewards for, you know, beating up a hundred bunnies. Hundred bunnies. Oh, I can also take care of the thing down here in the forest. So, double good. I'm not, I'm not fighting you. <laughs> I'm not watching those animations. Have a last time, free. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Take this as a gift from me. A dandelion. If none of these do anything, I guess I'll swap over to a hero or something. Sorry if you can hear the dogs barking in the background. They do be borking. It's cute, but is there any point to this? Okay. Whatever. The butt flowers have done nothing for me. Oh well. Maybe if I had a watering can, I could, you know, water them, make them grow up faster. I'm running through the 90s. Gotta go to the train station. Hello, fellow bunny hater. If I look in your eyes and see you've killed 104 bunnies. Splendid. I have nothing more to ask of you. Oh, okay, no, I've already gotten all the rewards there. Luminata. Now I'm good. I mean, board the train. Choo choo. Let's see if we get another spoopy scene or if it just skips it. It skipped it. Rude. Okay, is there a way up around here? I vaguely remember something I could get on top of. Here. So... There it is. At last time free, excellent, excellent, excellent. Take this as a gift from me. A dandelion. Always dandelion, huh? The wishbone. Okay. Wishbone, wishbone, wishbone. Uh, lock plus seven. About what you expect, to be honest, but eh. Should probably heal. Before this turns out to be a battle up here. How do you do, Buckaroo? Mr. Outback. The name's Mr. Outback, and I was busy than a moth in the mid to travel in the world of my youth. Nowadays, I'm more reserved. I stand at a cliff and give advice to those who are willing to ask. Those folks who have been here long, they know more than they're letting on. We've got a third eye, you could say, a sixth sense, if you get my drift. You three purple-haired friends are full of love and spirit, but you dark-haired kiddo, you're always all cattywampus. It's all dark and twisted. It ain't mellowing down anytime soon. You got a real journey ahead of you. Now that's not to discourage you, boy. Everyone's got their own journey, and I'd be obliged to help you on y'all on yours. I can answer a handful of questions, so ask away if you desire. Where am I? Ooh, that's a good one. Now where do I start? Hmm. 
Well, the Swiss have been around since the beginning of time, I reckon. It looks different to everyone, but this time around, it's pretty colorful and cutesy for the most part. Not to mention pretty dang big. That's a powerful imagination you got there, kiddo. And that's all she wrote. Do you want to tell me about something else? Where's Basil? Well, your friend ain't here is all I can say, but I think you have a way of knowing that answer. When someone looks for the truth, the world will create a set of keys. And those keys, they'll take a different form depending on the person's will. You know what your keys look like, don't you? Just press LB. Haha, <laughs> get it, my keys? And that's all she wrote. Did you want to tell me? Yeah. How old are you? Don't you know not to ask for that? I'd say give or take 33,000 years, though. But it's not like that matters all that much at this point. And that's all she wrote. Now y'all be better skedaddle. It's a long journey ahead, young snappers. I'm rooting and tooting for ya. Alright. Welcome to Black Space. So I need the W, the L, the O, the M, the T, the S, and the P to be welcome to Black Space. Gut of a whale within a live shell in a water closet amongst other O's spending time with a frog far below a big stage big stage is that actually talking about that could be talking about the uh, place I was just at Between giant pinwheels. I got that one already. Um, how dare you? It's funny, but fuck you. <laughs> um, nom nom nom. I haven't gotten over my fear of drowning, so I can't go back over there. You know, weird enough, I haven't tried watering my pillow recently. So I am odd back here. I'm the hero of Raintown. I don't think I need to do anything in Raintown, but... just wanted to check things out. Important item? Or it wasn't equip? What was this child who was with me? I remember. Ah, Veggie Kid. Right. Heart plus 15, juice plus 15. So. I don't think that matters for what I'm going with with anyone then. Anyone? Blah, blah, blah. Honestly, that wouldn't be a bad thing for Hero. Make him even tankier and also have more to give. Yeah, I'm gonna give him Veggie Kid. I'd prefer to have more juice for him. Alright, while I go to the next place, I'm actually going to run an ad real quick. So, give me a minute. I'm stuck and can I go down? Okay.
check my Discord. Okay. Rococo. I have no idea what you're talking about. The fact that Amori can have three attacks in one turn is stupid. I love it though. Kill learned comeback, huh? I want my comeback on my promotion. What? What? I didn't say that. Anyway. Kel makes Kel happy if sad was removed. Kel gains flex. Oh. Yeah, I actually... I actually will do that. Because there will be times that is helpful. I don't always attack with Kel, but when I do... not over here, right? This is the... Yeah, this is where I was being kidnapped by spiders. Stop running. There we go. So was it outside Pyrefly Forest? Was I not even this far yet? Okay, it wasn't over there because it wasn't past any of that stuff. Oh, I missed this before. the extra effect of this. Granola bar. Mmm, tasty. Tasty! Okay. Now we leave the forest. Is it to the left over here? Yeah, this is where the tentacle was. Oh, hey, there's a face. Completely missed this before. Good to know, good to know. Jam packets. It's jam packed. Yeah, let's throw 10 clams in here and tell a couple jokes. Me whipping Willow, the goddess of the lake. Thanks for the clams, I guess. They say money can buy happiness. Apparently, it's not working. Okay, what is it? Yes. Really? You call me out here for nothing? Oh, okay. So, only Hero is confident enough to do that, I guess. Oh no, I'm wasting 10 clams every time. Whatever will I do? Maybe beat up a single guy to replace all the clams I've ever spent forever. The moon joke. Did you hear about the restaurant on the moon? There's great food, but oh no atmosphere. <laughs> that joke, that joke was so bad. It just makes me want to... <laughs> yeah. I'll have to get more jokes later. I thought it was funny. <laughs> Why 
Where was... I will not. How dare you. Will is great. Where was the girl who wanted her teddy bear back? Where have I been? Wouldn't be in Pinwheel. I don't remember anyone in Sprout Motown. Could she have been at Orange Oasis? Because I didn't see her in Pyrefly, but I thought it was Pyrefly. Do you remember, Grim? Off the top of your head? With a girl who wanted... Uh, Candley, I think her name is. me there, so I'm just gonna run. There might be a joke in Pinwheel. That's not really what I was asking. I don't I don't think that I unlocked the League of Legends. Okay, it is in Pyrefly. I just did not see the person for some reason. I'll figure it out. Okay. I'm not. There we go. No, there was no joke thing here. I wasted my time. Oh well. I didn't waste my time, I wasted your time. Your time's expendable, so it's fine. I know I've read a couple of them before, so I'm not sure where the other ones are. Not worth my time at this point. What's in here? Oh! Would you like to pet the dog? Yes, I would love to pet the dog. You pet the dog. You felt something in your hand. You got the cherry soda. I thought I've been here before. Good dog. Pet a dog. Nourishment. Shelter. Big bone. Small bone. Big bone. Big bone. <laughs> making sure this isn't a case where it's different for different people. No, it's just Bork. The one I haven't checked is Aubrey. I might as well check. No, everyone's the same. We all pet the dog. Good little boy. Good little pupper. And there was no joke or anything else over here. Nope, nothing here. I'm wasting everyone's time today. And that's A-OK. -okay. That's a part of playing games like this, where I've never played them. I've never so much as touched these. <laughs> That's fucked up, Krim. Good advice again. Understood, here's your advice. Pain doesn't last forever. Follow your heart, but remember to take your brain with you. I had that one before. Follow your own cap. One last time of the 
good advice. Life is short, so smile while you still have teeth. <laughs> okay. That did actually kind of make me smile. Yell all the time. That's some pretty bad advice. When life gives you lemons, start a lemonade stand in front of a train station to give compl way complimentary train passes with each purchase of lemonade. I wonder who that's talking about. Anything is okay as long as you don't get caught. <laughs> ah, this is funny. It is not wise to listen to advice from a rock. That, that's decent advice. HM Surf, ooh, that, that's fair. That will help me. It is not wise to, okay. I didn't mean to do good again. All right. Okay, last time I do this, okay, advice. They're approximately, Okay, yeah. Mm hmm I think I got that one previously, so. Nothing here in the forest. All right. Let's head back to Pyrofly. Do I have jelly beans? <laughs> I love Sugar Rush. I wish I had any idea where Candly is. Definitely wasn't after these people. If anything, I feel like it was at the beginning of... Firefly Forest. It was definitely before I saw this. Because I remember thinking to myself that oh hey, there's the pink castle that was mentioned. But it was also a decent bit before it, like the beginning of that episode. It's not related to this bear, right? This bear is just an angry rare bear. Yes, okay. Painful truth. I'm a headbutt ya. Right in the heart. Oof. Right in. It was a moving attack, so. Bam. Get angry again. Stabby, stabby. Five damage, single hit. Or not single hit, but single attack. By definition, it's multi hit. Flower Garden Bear's the strongest. You keep saying that, and yet I never ran into any, so I guess they're so powerful that they're just invisible. That was just the key thing, like the uh, track that was missing up there. Where is this? Just 
Goodbye. It's not my fault that, uh, fuck you. <laughs> It's not my fault you have an obsession with bears. I'm very confused. Because I feel like it was around here. Soda. Like, how is it not here somewhere? I feel like it was the very beginning of Firefly. But this is just where Willow was, which is another thing I need to work on, but that's unrelated. His name is Candley. Is it just... Is it just a candle somewhere I need to talk to? But it should have the mark above its head. It's definitely not out here. I need to stop leaving the forest. It's over past the candle. I didn't think it was over here. Okay, huge waste of my time. All right, teddy bear. You give the teddy bear to Candley. Aw. I'm so happy to have you back, Can Teddy. Thank you for returning him to me. Here's a small gift for you. It's not much, but I hope you like it. You got a rubber duck. Hell yeah. Guppy, you're here. <laughs> Come on, Teddy, what should we play first? Oh, I know. Would you like a cup of tea? The teddy bear just walked over on its own. Oh, well. It's fine. There's been weirder things. Defense plus seven. A cute rubber duck doesn't like you very much. Ooh. Ouch. I've been rejected. Okay. Now to confirm. I have the Weeping Willow and Pessy's thing. I'm not going to be able to complete the Whipping Willow today, obviously, because I'm, you know, not going and finding every joke everywhere. Meanwhile, Pessy's thing, I should be able to do, so... Where would it be? I have no idea. This person's dumb, so they could have been anywhere. But I'm going to guess that's somewhere in Sproutmole Village. It's also just a thing. It's not even like something I know what it is, so who knows. Psst. Hey kids, I can help over here. That guy Pessy dropped something valuable, right? Something precious, perhaps? I might be able to help you with that. Hmm, this guy seems awfully shady. What's the catch, shady mole? Ahem, <clears throat> as you may already know, we sprout moles are very intelligent, high-functioning creatures. The smartest of all the mayor is creating a device that will help sprout moles do their work at a much higher capacity than what was previously possible. A fabled device of legend that when complete will entirely revolutionize the modern world. He calls it the B.E.D. The bed? What do you want that for? Hey, no questions. Get me a bed first and then we'll talk. A bed, huh? That seems simple enough. Wait, Kel, I don't know. He seems awfully untrustworthy. Hey, maybe we should just give him a bed and see what happens. If you think so, hero. But something about him really rubs me the wrong way. Okay, so I need a bed if I want to find the item for Passy. All right, uh... Is that related to something up here? No. I also like, um, it's, it's obviously cool to, oh hey, a joke. 
Why couldn't the bicycle stand up by itself? It was too tired. Womp womp. It's really bad. <laughs> Not even I could laugh at that one. Not really. You have no self-control, and why are you square again? Christmas is ru- oh. Got it, yeah. I might have ruined Christmas, I forgot. Oh hey, a bed. It's right more sleeping on a bed. If only you had something that could wake him up. Wake you up? What even- Is it air horn? I mean, air horn would. So I need like an alarm clock or something. Squawk. I need an alarm clock or something like that to wake up a sprout mole to steal his bed. What a bizarre game. Blast. Where in the world is my good for nothing son? Last night I asked him to analyze the effects of my latest invention, the bed, and I'm longing to hear the results. A bit. Hope he's not doing what I think he's doing. So I have to wake up the sun. How? Maybe I have to go talk to the shady one again. Because as it stands, this is kind of absurd. Ain't no question. Nope. Do you have any advice? Yo, Cal, what's up? You look like you've grown a bit taller. Maybe one day you'll be even taller than Hero. Okay. So, head up here. You four, since you're always this, yeah, okay. I, I'm confused. A week to being set on fire, yeah, you're right. Oh, maybe I have to talk to the sports mole or whatever it is. That's not down this way. That is down this way? <laughs> Those trainings made me so hungry. I wish I had some tofu right now. Sure. I just had to talk to him. All right. I should have noticed that he had the dots above his head. I did notice it, but... Who are you? Oh no, I'm late. Could it be that I... No. I must have overslept. What? Sprumbles don't oversleep. This bed, it's powerful. Maybe even too powerful. It's I'd better tell Dad about this. 
All right, cool. Dad, Dad, I'm here. How do we beat you here? By the gods, son, where have you been? I, I'm afraid I have some terrible news. What is it, son? You know you can tell me anything. Last night when I was testing the bed, I, 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 I overslept. No, it can't be. If what you said is true, then all my research, this invention, the bed, it's all too powerful. You see, my theory was that a bed would help sprout moles gain a good night's rest and thus gain productivity throughout the entire day, but... What good is it if this sa very same invention causes sprout moles to lose productivity instead? The bed has the potential for greatness, but the current risk is too high. By the gods, what have I done? I cannot unleash this dangerous technology upon the world, lest our humble village might never wake up again. You there. Hey, you there. Child, take this bed away from us. We have no need for such power. You got a bed. Now begone to speak not of what you saw here today. Yeah, okay. You've given me unlimited godlike power. What a dumb mission. <laughs> Do my eyes deceive me? I don't believe it. It's a bed. A real, genuine, bona fide bed. I'm gonna use it right this second. Hey, what are you doing? We helped you, so you should help us. Whoa, 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 what's with all the attitude? It may not seem like it, but I'm a mole of my word. Now, you didn't hear this from me, but earlier I believe I may have seen a sprout mole with a big pink bow digging through poor old Pessie's pockets. A sprout mole with a big pink bow? That sounds like Rosa. The menace roses at it again. Come on, Amori, we gotta ha uh, make her hand over Pessy's thing, no matter what. What a brat. Okay. So, last time I saw Rosa, she was in the castle, I think. I'll deal with that void in a bit. Okay. Okay. There's no secret tunnel or anything. It said beneath the stage, which is why I'm curious. There might be another huge stage somewhere, but... You know. I guess what I could do. So I guess shatter all these to make sure it's not a case where it's hiding underneath these or something. Yeah, there's probably just, you know, another stage somewhere. Well, there hasn't been any that have been super hidden thus far, so I have, you know, a lot of doubts. Oh well, later. For now, Rosa. While I'm here, I guess I'll look for some bears or something. Careful not to cut yourself, these vines are sharp. I can almost see the outside, or can I? Huh, that's weird. I can't see anything. 
curse these vines. They just never quit. Chop, chop, chop. We keep cutting down these vines, but they just keep growing back. Almost there, I think. These vines are tough like me. We spend every day chopping these vines, but it never seems like we can get any work done. These vines are going to be the death of me. Oh, was there actually something there that I just missed? I don't think you understand. My eyesight is actually pretty poor at this point. Part of it's just due to the fact that my eyes are constantly hurting. I have to rest them a good bit, and because I don't rest them while streaming, I miss a lot of details. I'll go check under there again soon. But... For now, I should go with Feroza and then... Are there actually bears I'm missing that I should go find? I can answer it legitimately. No trolling or whatever. Just a yes or no is enough. I have no interest in fighting you. There are actually bears. And I just never saw any bears. I mean, I'm gonna be real with you. You're kind of a troll when you just say nonsense sometimes. I didn't mean to go back down. I was, I was, I was even looking at the game at the time. I've seen you a lot in the latest episode of Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts. It was an episode worthy of my dearest sweetheart. I could have done without the ending. Listen, you've said Sephiroth in every game I've played recently. So, yeah. What, next you're gonna say it's in Final Fantasy VII or something? Fucking... Liar. Oh. That guy was fast. Oh, I'm not wearing the mask, right? Uh, no, because I am absolutely broke. Also, waking, making a wager against somebody who already knows a video game is a stupid fucking decision. That's like betting whether or not you'll say hello, and then you proceed to say hello because you want to make money. question is, where the fuck is Rosa at this point? No, I don't. Because, unlike you, I don't try to jump at, oh hey, this person said a thing. I just take it that you say a lot of things, and whatever turns out to be true, turns out to be true. Actually, there's a pearl here now, so I'll grab that one here. Last time I technically saw Rosa, I think. I don't remember if I saw her up in the castle or not, but... Ooh, why are you all in here? Help us! My guys, the door's open. And Sweetheart is no longer home. Whatever. Not for some reason down here or whatever. Yeah. I didn't figure, but... I believe I saw her in the... Castle at one point. 
but it was just for like a scene and this was like a week ago in real life so I don't know man I recognize you. You must be the paid actors from Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts. Your performance is absolutely breathtaking. I believed every minute of it. Blah, blah, blah. That'd be because it's real, and I haven't been paid for shit. This is not watermelon juice. Good to know. How was Rosa? Is she even here anymore? Did she leave back to her home? I have no idea. If she went back to the freaking junkyard or whatever, I'm gonna be mildly upset. Or back to other world. Excuse me. These guys are determined. <laughs> hey, there was a circle in the ground. Oh, these are the bears you were fucking talking about. Yeah, sure. Release the bears. Are you absolutely sure? Yeah. Angie. Stabby stabby. Knocks the ball out of the park. Alright, the first battle of many. Nice, nice. So angry. Stabby, stabby. Uh, yeah, ricochet. And stabby stabby. I got a jack.
Damn. Zero damage. You fool. Let's just give us all 40. Aubrey deserves a pancake. Pancaku. Three hundred XP and twenty clams. There's so many of these. <laughs> Stabby, headbutt ya, uh, just attack normally and attack normally. Hey, Aubrey. There's just infinite bears. Oops, all bears. This has been the bear episode, guys. We had to choose between the men and the bears. One man or a million bears. We chose a million bears. It's so angry. Aubrey finally got to level 29 through fighting bears. This is starting to get ridiculous. And by starting, I mean it's been ridiculous for a while. Have enough HP. It's fine, you're probably not going to need to attack anyway. You'll never get the chance, but you know. Pass to Aubrey. Aubrey. I 
I'm Engi. Hell yeah. I did a I did an approval. <laughs> Might as well have been Okay. So I don't even need a headbutt really. Stabby stabby. Okay, now after a million battles right there. Let's see. Cherry soda. Combo meal. Realistically speaking, let's just do an attack. Now look at Amori for support. Damn, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> Bears also get knives, that'd be funny. I am Knife Bear, hello. I got jam packets, combo meal, a foxtail, and more jam packets. All right, so first things first, uh, I got jack and a foxtail. So a foe tail is plus 15 speed. A foxtail, real foxtail, speed increases with more energy. So I would lose out on 10 luck in one speed, but I'd get more speed the more energy I had. Uh, I'm not making bread, period, currently. I don't really need bread. <laughs> I made the entire earth into bread, and after that, it was all downhill. Um, I'm fine. To be honest, I don't need the foxtail. I do need to check what the jack does. It's probably something to do with defense, but let's see. Jack, 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 jack. Oh. Is it jack as in, like, jacks? Is it a weapon? It's a jack. Oh, it's a jack-o-lantern. Please call me Jack. A lantern is my father's name. <laughs> Says Jack. Uh, 50 less juice, 4 more attack, 6 less defense, 6 less luck. Why would I use this? I... Did I get the coconut from the top of the pyramid or something? Because, like, why would I use this? Alright, well, I got a weapon and an accessory in there. Bears have been obtained. There are no more bears, right? Stop fighting me.
If you're talking about this, didn't I break this open? Oh, I didn't. I thought I broke this open. I thought this was one of the face things. Hmm. A gasp. Could it be? Ah, uh, finally. Some company? <laughs> I've been here for so long, but after what feels like an eternity, at last I have an audience. <laughs> Who am I, you ask? Why, I am the great and upcoming artist, Rococo. This guy is kind of weird. Let's get out of here. Wait, don't go. Please listen to my story. Excuse us? Please listen, I'm so lonely. Ahem, <clears throat> right. Now where should I start? In the beginning was me, crying in a pod in the middle of space, witnessing my home planet pour right before my eyes. Oh, oh Superman. I, or no, Goku. Or someone, I don't know. I can still remember all so vividly. Fire, fire, everywhere. And then darkness. When I awoke, I found myself in the middle of a desert, surrounded by a sea of brown sugar and a strange land I soon learned to be called Orange Oasis. Even as a baby, I knew I was the sole survivor of my species, the last elf in the entire universe. Or I'll just take seats. So this is how it ends, I thought. Yet, in the stroke of luck, I was found by none other than a young donut by the name of Sweetheart. Oh, so Sweetheart was a donut originally. She brought me to her family, and they took me in as one of their own. Oh, that explains the whole desert thing about someone becoming a star or whatever. That also explains why Captain Space Boyfriend calls her Donut. Okay. I Yes, but she doesn't look like them. Sweetheart and I, we grew up together. It was a rough childhood. We fought frequently, but she would always win. If I fought back, well... Anyway, I learned to run, and I got quite good at running, but there's only so far you can run. Yet it was a hard time, but even that, through that suffering, I stood firm, because even then I knew everything had a purpose. I was sent to this planet and survived for one reason and one reason only, to repopulate my entire species. There's a conspicuous, there's a conspicuous gra gap in my memory after this, so I'll fast forward to a few years. At some point, Sweetheart and I fell deeply in love, became engaged, and moved to this giant castle together. We were inseparable, her and I, and we loved each other dearly. I would do anything for her, and I mean anything. I was ready to spend the rest of our lives together, to grow old, to raise hundreds upon hundreds of children. Hmm, thinking about it now, I wonder if I ever made that clear to her. Anyway, continuing my story... Alas, all good times must come to an end. As Sweetheart's fan base grew, she and I grew apart as well. She began receiving gifts and letters from suitors from all over the universe, asking for a chance to prove their love to her. Being her one true love, I was vehemently against this notion, but she wouldn't have it. Sweetheart is for sharing, she would say. So, one night while I was asleep, Sweetheart and her servants tied me up and sealed me inside the walls of her castle. I've been wandering aimlessly through the darkness inside the walls ever since, surviving off old toast and tofu. Fast forward a few more years, and that brings us to now. Yes, you four are the first living beings I've seen since that fateful day. Wow, sir, that's a really, um, shocking story. Oh, sweetheart, why did you do it? Was I not good enough for you? Well, sorry about everything. We're gonna go now. Wait, I'm not finished yet. Uh, for the last few years, I've had a long time to think. I kind of gave up on my dreams and all that stuff now. It all seems so far away and pointless. So, I've decided to drop everything and become an artist instead. And since I'm just starting out, I suppose I can give you all a discount. For my first ever masterpiece, I will only charge you 1,000 clams. Sure. 
well. What do you guys think? 1,000 clams is kind of steep, isn't it? Not really. Please commission me. We will think about it. Ah, yes, yes, of course. Do take your time. I will stand right here until then. A simple futon. The sheets are cheap, lumpy, and have many holes in them. Ah, uh, no rating? Okay. 1,000 clams. Let's do it. Have you decided to assist me on my journey of self-discovery? Well, have magnificent. Mag magnificent? I don't know. Uh, please return after some more adventuring. After all, greatness takes time. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Commission Rock Coco. I won't disappoint you. Please return after some more adventuring. Okay, yep. Good to know, good to know. So I'm assuming that's related to whatever key that was. Now... If I'm looking for Rosa, I saw her here. I saw her in the dungeon when she made fun of me. I think I saw her run by in the castle at some point, but that's a more vague memory. You four. Yeah, okay. Tomatoes. Oh, I literally just have to leave the village? Alright, I appreciate that. Thanks for the tip. Now let's see. What's the art look like? But yes, you've returned. Please admire my latest masterpiece. It is already framed in the gallery ahead. <laughs> Untitled. I like how he's using paint, but that's very much crayon. But by the greatest artist, artist Rococo. Hey, I'm just starting out, okay? Give me a break. Well, are you happy with my masterpiece? Just so you know, as my skills become more formidable, my commission rates will also increase. 5,000. Sure. Oh, magnificent. I will obviously need to get more money before I can do anything past this, but... I might as well see what this is about. Also... It, we are absolutely over on time, like, very much. I might have to chop this one into two different pieces. So, guys, next time on Let's Play Amori, I am... I I guess... Uh, I was really sure we were going to be out of Dreamland by this point, but we're not. <laughs> it's a wild. All right, boy.